Hey guys, it's Lance at McV Audio, and today I have installed already an Inatech USB 3 PCIe card into my Mac Pro. And the good thing about this PCIe card is you do not need a little cable running off of it going to your hard drive bay or to your DVD bay to get eSATA power to it. This does not need any additional power. You just It's plug and go. The OS sees the drivers for it. There's no installing drivers. It just works. And uh, so far it's been great. Performance is good. So it's a good little card for 30 bucks off of Amazon. So anyway, uh, we'll get right to the benchmarks and you can check it out. But I think this card is uh, just what I was looking for. Okay, much to my chagrin, I found when I went to the Inatech website that they say this card is not compatible with Yosemite. You can see on the third bullet point there. So I emailed them and they said, well, some people have had issues with it. Some people have not had issues with it. They got back to me relatively quickly. And uh, so far it's working great for me. So maybe it was the early versions of Yosemite. This person who emailed me didn't really have the exact answer, but they said their techs are looking into it. But so far it's working just fine for me. So I'm gonna show you the benchmarks that I got and compare it to my other drives and different scenarios, eSATA compared to the USB 3, compared to the PCIe boot drive I have installed. So here you can see in slot number one is my graphics card. Slot number two is the new USB card, the red one. Slot number three, my native Pro Tools card, and slot number four is the Mercury Celsius 240 gig PCIe boot drive that I use with two eSATA ports on the front, so then I can test eSATA speeds compared to the USB 3 speeds. Okay, first up we're gonna look at the Mercury Celsius. So as you can see, the OWC boot drive is very fast. It gets anywhere between 625 write speed to 700 read speed. Okay, next up, I ran a test with the 750 gig Samsung Evo drive that I have, which is in a hard drive enclosure by Oyen Digital. And it has one USB 3 port and one eSATA port. This little enclosure allows me to test the speed difference between eSATA and USB 3 with the same hard drive. Okay, so with the Samsung connected to the eSATA port on the Mercury Excelsior card, we're getting 442 write speeds and 498 read speeds, almost 500 read speeds, pretty fast. Not quite as fast as the Mercury Excelsior, but pretty darn good. Okay, here is the same drive that's connected now to the USB 3 port on the Inatech card. And as you can see, the read and write speeds are quite a bit slower. But eSATA is faster than USB 3. It's 6 gigabit and USB 3 is 5 gigabit. So you would expect the speeds to be slower. However, when I did the same test with my MacBook Pro and its USB 3 port, I got faster speeds. Here are the results. So the MacBook Pro got almost 70 to 80 megabytes per second faster speeds with the same drive than the USB 3 card. Uh, why that is exactly, I'm not sure. Maybe there's faster USB 3 cards out there. I'd love to hear from other people who have run tests to see how their USB 3 card performed. So to wrap it up, it seems the Inatech KT4004 USB 3 card is not as fast as it could be. The MacBook Pro's USB 3 port got better scores with the exact same drive. Uh, it's still much faster than USB 2. It's faster than Firewire 800. And uh, it's just when you put in the ultra fast drives in there, it's not as quite as fast as the drive can be. So eSAT is always gonna be a little faster than USB 3, but obviously there's USB 3 cards that perform better than others. So there you have it. Another McV audio video comes to a close. Please subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos, how to upgrade your Mac Pro CPUs and how to flash an R9-280X video card. Uh, my Mac Pro is now maxed out. I really can't do anything to it except add more RAM and possibly faster processors in the future. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.